I don't need a bad man to my ride. I'm a fish. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. That's if you're a returning subscriber. If you're new here, you're welcome. Please don't leave without subscribing. So let's get straight into what you need to make this hair butter. First of all, you're going to need your clothes. Clothes are a favorite of mine. I've done a couple of videos with clothes. You can check them out. I'll link them. Cloves are rich in beta carotene. They boost the tissue under the scalp and they heighten blood flow and this leads to hair growth. You're also going to need green tea. Green tea helps prevent hair loss by inhibiting the activity of the hormones that induce hair loss. You're going to need your mango butter. Let me rephrase. This is optional you don't have to use it use any hair butter available to you i'm using a mix of mango butter and shea butter no reason in particular i just like the mix this you're also going to need your shea butter you're going to need your carrier oil it must not be olive oil any carrier oil of your choice but i am using olive oil because olive oil is very safe and an essential oil just for fragrance and i'm using this lavender essential oil so now guys let's go straight into how you can go about making this lovely hair butter in the comfort of your home so the first thing that i'm going to do is that i'm going to prep for i'm going to try to prep for the oil because i'm going to be making an oil out of the clove and the green tea to make it easier i'm going to turn the cloves and the green tea into my dry meal and i'm going to turn it into a powder form um, this is just going to make it easier to work with you can go ahead and make your oil using the cloves in their natural form but i decided to just blend it and turn it into a powder now straight to make the oil i made the oil the regular way i just put it in my pan i try to infuse it you can also do the double boiler method by the way but i just didn't do that in this case i just did it in my frying pan on low heat and waited a couple of minutes about 30 minutes on low heat for it to infuse properly and i added one cup of um, olive oil then i just poured the blended cloves and green tea i find that it's easier to work with this way So this is how the oil looks after it has cooled down and of course we must sieve it so that's what i'm doing right now using my cheesecloth i'm just going to sieve and you know separate the powder from the oil yeah So in this bowl, I've put my shea butter, I've put my mango butter. I also added some e-wax. I always say 
this is optional this is i didn't add any water content so the e-wax is optional the e-wax just makes the formula a lot more creamy so i've melted my shea butter and all the butters and the wax and i'm adding the clove and green green tea oil and then what i do is that i whisk a bit with my whisk i whisk for about 10 minutes and then i'm going to use my cling film to cover this and i'm going to put it in the fridge the reason why i always use my a cling film when i'm doing my butters and things like that is because you need to prevent particles and anything from entering into your butter so you don't contaminate it i left it in the fridge for about 10 15 minutes and then i brought it out i'm going to whisk again very lightly for about five minutes and then i'm going to cover it again and put in the fridge doing it this way is just a personal thing it's a my personal preference because i find that i like the way the formula is when i whisk it this way so i'm going to go ahead and whisk 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 you just need to keep whisking till you get your desired consistency as you can see it has gotten a lot thicker um In subsequent videos, I'm going to show you how to make your butter more runny or thicker, you know, how to play with the whole thing. And at this point, I'm adding my essential oil. This is because I wanted it to smell lovely. And yeah, that's optional. And then I'm just going to go ahead and whisk and whisk and whisk till I'm satisfied. To be honest, this took me about... 10 minutes it took me about 10 minutes to do and yeah i was fine with the result as usual if you're not new to my channel you will know that when i am done with my hair butter and i want to transfer it into a storage container i usually put it in a ziploc bag because i find that it's the easiest way to transfer without any mess so i'm just going to transfer into storage container make sure that you store your butters in a clean container that is airtight that doesn't that is airtight you know so that it can last for as long as is possible you don't want to um, make your butter last you know lesser <laughs> if that's the correct word than it normally would and this is the result a very amazing clove and green tea butter that is not only going to help with moisturizing your hair sealing in moisture it's also going to help aid hair growth and minimize hair loss and hair breakage